Welcome to another Wise Guys video on the BA2 Plus calculator. In this one, we're going to look at the, the begin versus end mode for our payments function on our calculator. Okay, let's read the question first to determine is the payments being made at the end of the period or the payments going to be made at the beginning of the period. Uh, somewhere in the question, they will give you a, there will be a giveaway to tell you uh, whether the payments are made at the beginning or the end. So we just have to read the question first to see if there's some sort of thing in the question to tell us begin or end mode. Um, usually if the question doesn't say anything, then your calculator should remain in end mode. If it does say something, then uh, depending on what it says, we'll flip it to begin or end mode depending on what it says. So. Uh, here's the question. You wish to retire in 30 years and you would like to have $500,000 in your RRSP on the date you retire. If you invest your money at 6.5% per month, how much would you have to deposit each month? Now in this question, there's no mention of making the payments at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month. When that happens, just assume that the payments are at the end. So our payments are at the end of the month. Okay, so let's set up our functions here. So this is our standard row of buttons on our calculator. So N, I, Y, P, V, P, M, T, F, V. So now let's just go through the question and pick which goes where. Well, the first thing they tell us is that you want to retire in 30 years. So this will be used for our N. And then it goes on to say you would like to have 500000 in your RRSP. When we're talking RRSPs, RRSPs are always future values. So this 500,000 here, this is going to be a future value. So down here, I can type in 500,000 beside the FE. Uh, if you invest your money at 6.5%, well, 6.5% is a percentage, so that's our IY, uh, per month, so monthly, so that's 12 times, how much would you have to deposit each month? So the uh, interest is monthly and the payments are monthly as well. So PY and CY are going to be 12 each. For the N, the N is going to be, it's 30 years, so it's going to be 30 times 12. So uh, let's just quickly turn the calculator on. So 30 times 12, we're looking at an N of 360. Now, we're looking for how much to deposit each month. A deposit means payment. So we're looking for payment. So I'm going to put the question mark beside payment. I'm going to make the PV zero because remember, any button that's not being used should have a zero. So now the 360 is already in my calculator, so I'm just going to hit the end button. Then it's 6.5 IY, zero PV, and then five, 500,000 FV. And now remember, for the PYCY, you have to go second function IY to get into it. So second IY, and look at that. Mine's already set at 12. If yours not is not set at 12, make sure to type in 12 and hit the enter. Once you're done, you can go second quit. Quit is above the CPT. So second quit, and then we just want to compute payments. So then we'll go to CPT PMT, and there we go. So we have to deposit, at the end of each month, we have to deposit $452 and a penny in order to have $500,000 when we retire in three years. So this was if we made the payments at the end of the year. Let's retry the question where we make the payments at the beginning of the year, and that's what the second question is here. How much would you have to deposit starting today? These last two words, starting today, that means our payments have to be in begin mode. Now, your calculator is automatically set to be in end mode, so to switch it to begin mode, what we have to do is we have to go second PMT, because if you look above the PMT, it says BGN, and BGN means begin. So we gotta go second PMT, and if you see in the left corner, it says END, so we wanna switch that to BGN. So to switch it, you then go second set, or second enter, and this will switch it, calculator to begin mode. And if you notice, there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little, there should be a little BGN on the right side of your calculator at the top. 
This will also tell you that your calculator is in begin mode. And then to get out, you just go second quit again, second CPT, and that will get us out. Now, again, the only thing we want to do is we just want to recompute the payments. We're not changing anything else in the calculator. There's no numbers being changed. We just want to recompute the payments. This row of buttons, the numbers will remain there as long as you do not uh, clear it. And to clear it, you go second uh, fee to clear the, uh, the numbers. As long as you don't do that, the numbers will remain there until you put a new number in or you clear it. Since all we want to do is just recompute the payment, we're going to leave all the numbers as was given before, and then we'll just go second. Oops, no, we'll not go second. We'll just go CPT payment. So CPT payment. There we go. So if the payments are made at the beginning of the period, we would have to pay $449.57. Not much of a difference, because if you remember our original answer, our original answer was 452.01. So not much of a difference here between making payments at the beginning of the end. Uh, it's about a $3, well, $2 in some sense difference. So, um, But if we make the payments at the beginning, then we will be making payments of $449.57. Thank you. This has been another presentation of the Wise Guys videos. If you have any problems, you can get a hold of Ron in, uh, in the Learning Assistance Center. Have a good day.